Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de la Lande. La Lande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. Hello and welcome to the 200th Chateau Diary vlog. This is a moment I've been looking forward to for quite some time and this isn't how I imagined it. I thought I'd be outside La Lande really excitedly talking about the 200th episode of this vlog that's transformed the future of the Chateau and certainly my life and the life of everyone who lives with me at La Lande. But uh, sadly, I was rushed into hospital last night. Luckily, I had got lots of footage already. I've been filming up until yesterday. Today, it is Thursday. It's the day of the vlog itself. Um, but I hadn't filmed my intro yet. Uh, so I'm doing that from here. Don't worry, it is, it is not COVID. It is not cancer. It is not something serious, but I have to be kept in for um, observation for a few days. So I'll be here for a little while. I don't yet know whether I'll be able to make a vlog on Tuesday or not, but I'm hoping I will be able to by then. Certainly by next Thursday, things should be back to normal. And the great news is that Sunday's vlog is already made. So whilst I get on with the business of getting better here, I'm going to show you footage of what's been happening the last couple of days at La Land. And it has been incredibly exciting. And that's because of all of you. On this 200th vlog, I want to thank all of you for your support. It's you who are making the renovations at the Chateau possible. The viewers and the patrons, you've been amazing. And even at times like this, I am made so happy by the support that you've shown to us. You, you have no idea just how it lifts me up, especially at a moment like this. As do Mahi's flowers, aren't they beautiful? I feel at home with them. So here's a footage from earlier this week. Yes. How are you getting on with the... Uh... Haven't started yet, right. but I am on it now. I am a demon cleaner. Right, That's okay. what I'm going to go and I'm going to blitz the entire dressing room. I don't need to be the skip in the morning then. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> is going in a skip, just, Ian. Are you mad? Just take care of the paperwork. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm off. I'm going to okay. get on with it. See you later. Bye. This is it. Philip and I have come up to the boudoir, which honestly is a site that would make anyone booed. It is a very, very sulky making site because we have got to entirely clear it out other than the big bits of furniture, which Ian will move tomorrow. Now, it has been used as a dumping ground for years and every time it gets vaguely usable, occasionally I have had to sleep in here when we didn't have enough space during workshops, and it's fine for them, but the second it's not being used again and it's not properly furnished, everyone, if they've got anything that they don't know what to do with, they dump it in here. Remember when we wanted to do Christmas corner in here yeah. and we cleared half the room? Yes. Yes. What you did by clearing the bed out of here to make Christmas corner is that you created a vacuum and this room abhors a vacuum like right. nature. And the minute there's right. a vacuum, people put stuff in it yes yes why is there a furby there oh no no don't question furby that's my furby from when i was a child so why is he there uh honestly that's because furby stresses me a lot because he's always going furby hungry furby lonely <laughs> So I found it's kind of really, 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 really stressful. <laughs> so I like put Furby in a box in the attic so that I couldn't be freaked out by Furby. And then my friend Thomas, who's also Dutch, uh, found Furby and then started hiding it in places that it would spring to life. So for example, once I opened the fridge and Furby was in the fridge, uh -huh. I'd get into bed and Furby were in my bed going, hello. <laughs> So really funny. his batteries have run out now, thankfully. So he he's not going to stress me. But did you take the batteries out as well, or are they? No, I think they just did. I think they're dead. Bleeding. I don't know what they're doing. If you start toying with the Furby, it might spring back to life, and no one wants that to happen. 
But you do realize if Petri's not in there, there are like parts of Judo that could stop bleeding and then you can never use Furby again. Why would I ever want to use Furby okay, again? Okay, so he's gonna go into the bin. Don't be ridiculous. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> right, so the piano is housing a lot of things. We've got a lot of the packing materials from Caddo at the Chateau in here. Mm -hmm. Paint. Yes, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot happening and there's a lot to clear. A piano is definitely starting to emerge. I think, but see, things are starting to happen. Yeah. I'm finding things belonging to everyone in the house. How do they get here? <laughs> How? But I'm really happy. Now that I see a little bit of surface, we're getting there. This is a huge thing for me, clearing this room, because it's very, very symbolic. It sort of works with the 200th vlog. I really feel that if we can knock down this wall to create a proper study space for me and a little boudoir a place that I can really concentrate, research, work, edit. And it feels like a great thing to be doing on the 200th vlog to be starting that. It's now midnight and we've been working at this all evening. I think actually starting to go pretty well. I mean, the floor is largely clear, amazingly. And there's just a few more boxes that need to be sorted. But generally, it's gone well. Um, Philip has spent some of his time, admittedly he's been ferrying a lot of stuff, but making little holes in the wallpaper. Well, so the wall's gonna come down tomorrow. Yes. And I was really curious to see what wallpaper... He was. found vintage wallpaper underneath this one. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. Because, yeah, I saw a little snippet of it actually up there. Yes. And I was really curious to see what it looked like. Oh, you can see that I didn't have much success by yep. taking up one piece. Just a little bit here, but yes, yes not much success. Piece. That was the first one that I saw. Okay. And then you went crazy then... in the corner. I managed You've to got a great that. piece there. Okay. The old paper. Ooh, quite exciting. We'll have a better idea in the light tomorrow. I don't know what time Ian's going to start. It was coming up really well. We should try and save a piece of it yeah. when the wall comes down. Or maybe try and find the company and like get the matching fabric or something to make some... Mm, it's not quite the colours that I would usually go for. I know. We can make some cushions with it. Autumnal colours. Oh, you must love them. <laughs> I, oh, I am really excited. I really like this wallpaper. So this is the wall that is going to be coming down tomorrow. Ian is going to be taking this entire wall down. There's a corridor on the other side with a big window in it. So then there'll be light coming into this room from both sides, which I think will make a big difference. Let's just carry on a tiny bit longer. We're nearly there. <laughs> Thanks so much for staying up late to do this with me. I'm usually up late. So. I know, but there's like literally no way I could have done this by <laughs> myself. It's been a Herculean task. In fact, I'll just show everyone all of the frames we found in here. <laughs> here we have just the frames. We haven't sorted through them. Some of these are framed ready to go up. Others were bought just for the frames, not for the things inside them. Others are still blank. So we have a lot of sorting still to do after today, but at least things are now in categories and properly organized. Good morning. Good morning, Ian. What's happening? Hello, this is amazing. Isn't it amazing? Doing, doing, doing out. Floor, this floor. Oh, the floor itself is so beautiful. I know, it's a real pity because we're not going to be able to have it. Oh, we'll keep it, but underneath, we exactly. won't be able to have it I visible. I don't think we're going to take it out. I mean, we'll Sadly. give it a shot, but these, these are old iron nails. Oh, it it is such a beautiful floor. Absolutely. Problem is that it doesn't go through the it corridor, but maybe floor. it doesn't carry underneath that floor. Well, it's difficult to say. This floor does seem low. This must be late tradition. That's yeah. Amazing. Maybe we'll find out as this comes down yeah. whether this floor carries on underneath. We'll, until until we start to, yeah. if you've got this down, they'll probably do yeah. this, the truth is behind that. We'll 
policies the piano over. Yeah, that's the one thing we really couldn't move. No, <laughs> so no. that's got to stay we, in we here. Need to make sure that's absolutely dust tight. This one's going to the attic to be used as storage up yeah. there. And this one? Yes, that one can go to Chambre des Oiseaux. That will be the wardrobe for Chambre des Oiseaux. Yeah. I think I'll paint it, but that will be going there. Yes, there's a mirror if you have that, isn't there? There's, a there's a mirror and there's a matching dressing table as well. So they may as well all yeah. go in the same room. I think it'll go really nicely with the peacock. Mm. Sort of slightly exotic theme in there. Yeah. And did you see the uh, vintage wallpaper that uh, Philip discovered last yes. night? He kept yes. getting super distracted, like <laughs> finding this was way more exciting. When the wall comes down, if I can then try and salvage mm. some bits of that paper to, just to keep the history of the place, of that would be great. And the reason we're doing this, you can see the light pouring in from this window here. And this is the window that one day we would like to move the radio to make it a low window like the others in the chateau. Then with a little Juliet balcony outside the front door here. So I could step straight out, look out over the courtyard. And it's going to transform that room because it's such a dark room. So we have two huge windows in here and it will become a much lighter room. And then look, look at this, it's embarrassing little chimney. Have you noticed? It doesn't even go the width of no. the chimney itself. No. I think this was a part of the old chateau, that there was an older chimney breast and when they remodeled, and then they did the floor and put that in, they just didn't bother going the full width. No, so we'll have to put a new nice mantelpiece. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, beautiful one there. It's a beautiful room though, or at least it will be a beautiful yeah. room. Yeah. Well, we get and to get more light in as well. It's going to be yeah. quite something. That's actually a big space, actually. What a day! What yeah. a day! Okay, I'm going to sort the troops out. We'll I'm going to get tea. Later. See you in a sec. With my hose. <laughs> Good morning, Dan. Good morning. So, what's happening today? What excitement? Thor looks pretty excited. He's come to have a little peek at what you're up to. Yeah. Um, just planting now. All the plants that you bought, we're starting to get in. Oh, and is Kirsty here? Yeah. Fantastic. Um, I'm just rounding up all the hose pipe, which people have nicked over winter and getting them back in the garden. Now. Ah, that time of year is coming. Yeah. So, is Kirsty in the garden? She's in there now, yeah. She's all right. Labeling. Great. Let's go and have a look at what, what's going on. There are the new trees. They are. Whoa, it's going to be great. All the herbs are in. Hello, Kirsty. Hello. How are you? I'm very well, thank Hanging out with the chickens, I see. Yes. Kirsty is our new gardener who's coming to help Dan two days every week. That's all the herbs that we bought. There's the rosemary. And the flowering rosemary at the end looks so pretty. And all of this marjoram was a gift from Sophie from Escape to the Chateau DIY and grows magnificently every year. Then here's the different times. Lucky we bought all four hay. They look so neat there. Yeah, they do look nice now, yeah. They're not going to get massively bigger than that either. They'll I'm... just touch. So these are all the soft herbs that you yes. bought. Yes. I think, I don't know what your idea is. I think we were just going to plant them in here for now. That's fine, I don't mind, whatever you think's best. I mean, I think in terms of a kitchen garden, out back is too shaded. Yeah, So it'd have to be shaded. out front and then it's on view in the courtyard. So I guess you've got to tricky, kind of think it? about that, yeah. Yeah. Well, but maybe can... we just make kitchen garden here, you know, yeah, the herb just, area here. This whole thing can be yeah. herbs, yeah. Fantastic. Hello. Hello. How is it going? Great, thank you. You're yeah. doing the rhubarb bed. This is the, yes, the rhubarb bed. The <laughs> Underneath these cloches, they're, um, Making an appearance. Starting. They are indeed. Oh, the mummy will be happy to see that. Yeah, they're lovely. There's, um, I found a few other ones that have been buried over time, so. Uh... Yes, uh, we planted a few new ones last year. Right, I see. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm really enjoying it. The chickens Good. are helping. Yeah, the chickens are gorgeous. I love the two new ones. They are the lovely. silky and the Polish. How far away do you live? Are you local to here? Yeah, fairly local. I'm about 20 minutes away. So oh, that's easy. It's, it's a nice run out, yeah. Yeah. It's not too bad. I'm yeah. so happy that you're here looking so after the garden. I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah. Poor Danny, he couldn't do everything. No, no. It's, a, it's impossible. There's a lot of work, but uh, it's, it's enjoyable. Good. It, especially on a day like this. It's really nice. <laughs> well, good luck with the rhubarb. Oh, yeah, I see Thank another you. one there. Yeah, this one in here, we just, I think we're just protecting it from the chickens because they, they do like to help. Um, yeah, I bet they do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, another one protected under here. Chicken-proof rhubarb fencing. Yes. Now, I'm going to go and have a little visit to the chickens. All right. <laughs> here are the new ones that we just bought when we went out with Dan. 
What an excellent chicken you are. Magnificent chicken. I mean, that is the fluffiest bottom that I could ever imagine. And I love that blue earring you've got. You're looking very elegant. Let's go round and meet Beethoven. Hello, Beethoven. You're looking very chill. Hello. Honorine, or as Selma has renamed her, Lavendel, isn't out today. Um, she often seems to be a little bit broody, so she's probably still sitting inside. I think she's out. Oh, she is? Have you seen her? Selma walks her around every morning. He walks yeah. her? <laughs> Why does he walk <laughs> the chicken? I think because she's reluctant to come out, so he goes, gets her, cuddles her, comes in here. Oh. Bless him. I know. I think that he's found a new pet. <laughs> so you've got three beds of potatoes in. You've planted all the potatoes that we bought? Well, no. Not all, <laughs> not all of them that you bought, because you bought enough to do the whole garden, so... Okay, yeah, three beds sounds um, perfectly reasonable. So these are like the jacket potato -y bigger ones. Nice. Uh, we've got the, like, new potatoes on that bed. Right at the end, okay. And then one right over there, the Desiree, the red ones. Lovely. So, when are the fruit trees going to be going in? We might start them today. I'm really excited about the trees. So yeah, so we just cut anything that's dead out at the base and then Matt can just scoop the... What on earth is wrong with Picasso? <laughs> Seriously. You're freaking her out. She don't want to be on film. <laughs> she hates being on the <laughs> vlog. I'm sick of this vlogging, constant vlogging. <laughs> right, well, she's made her point loud and clear. Yep. Cakes again. I seem to manage to do that every single day. <laughs> we, we just wait for you to get up and then we run round here. We're in the same position as last time. So. Exactly the same. Yeah. And you're all in the same seats. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a high, high arrival. Yeah. <laughs> so how is it going up there? Really good actually. Come and have a look. Now we've made a hole in the wall. You're joking. No, no. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I would love to have a look. Right, I'll come Very on. much so. I'll follow you up because my coffee is red hot. Excellent. Would you like a madeleine? I would actually love a madeleine. Yes, and it'll do me the world of good. Full of all kinds of good things. Excellent. No, calorie free, I'm sure. Oh, a calorie free madeleine. That's the best <laughs> sort. <laughs> there is a hole in my wall, dear Ian, dear Ian. There's a pumpkin gray hole in your wall. <laughs> Oh, this is lath and plaster. We, we're France. We have mud and, pl and uh, lath. Mud and plaster. Excellent. Yeah. Awesome. This looks more satisfying than I'd realised. I've just taken them all down myself, Ian. Yeah, well, have you not got some uh, high heel digger boots? <laughs> this is very satisfying. I'm not sure we're getting the full effect of the new light <laughs> flooding yeah. through. We're just, uh, See if we've got a difference we're just, we're just, yet. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, not quite yet. <laughs> we've had a rather, a rather large cabling running around everywhere. Oh yes. So we'll get Ian to go and sort that out. They're, they're everywhere. Great. Oh yes, they're on all the edges. Yeah, we yes. need to have that properly buried. Yes, but we're going to need to just make it all safe to start with. And this is 19th century, isn't it? This yeah, partition wall. Yes, yes. Yeah, this is a... Uh... Maybe a little bit older. You think so? Well, it's... It... It's, you'd normally expect it to see more of a, a plaster content and um, horse hair and that sort of thing put into it, but this is just mud. This is more like wattle and daub. Yeah. So I think that that dates older. Well, this room is definitely in an older part of the chateau because you can tell from the thickness of the walls That's right. between rooms, mm. but the outside is more modern because this is the part that burnt down. That's but right. I think all the internal structure, a it's lot of it likely. is, is yeah. original. Yeah, yeah. I think this afternoon is going to be a little bit more spectacular. Yes, I think so. I mean, what happens though if it's not? And I'm like, oh, actually, I like um, that wall. Yes, well, <laughs> well, we'll leave the laughs to one side. And if you change the mind, <laughs> <laughs> you can have a go at it. No, no, you get, I'm just trying to imagine how the room's going to feel with this extra bit in it. I know it's only a corridor, but I think it's going to make well, quite a gonna, big difference. It's going to make a bit, and because it spreads out either side, it's actually going to allow yeah. a bit in, I think. Yeah. I'm going to have a proper study, which I can vlog in. Yes. Wow. 
Amazing. Does the floor carry on underneath or not? Is the question on everyone's lips. But it's still our time team. Bit of time team. Bit of time team, see what we can discover. Nothing, just a threshold. Yeah. Threshold and another threshold. Another one beneath. And, well, uh, that's interesting because at least there was a threshold that was at the right level for the room at one point. It's hard to really tell. No, can't tell at all. There is another there bit is another of wood there is another under piece that of wood bit there. of wood. Well, I'm not going to take this up yet. Because... Definitely two bits of wood completely yeah, yeah. the same on top of each other. Whether that's just a pack of wood. Actually, that looks a lot... It's quite square red. There's lots of the hewn timber that we normally find. But once we've got these out, we can take that up. I don't want to disturb this yet. And can we keep the door that was here? And keep the, the, frame? Door. the door frame, unfortunately, was just pieces of wood planted on. Okay, so it didn't it's not, work. So it's not actually a true frame as we know it today. But we have a door, so. Good. There's a wrecking bar just for you. Would you yeah. like to play? I would. Feel <laughs> now. Free. Feel free. <laughs> Which shall I do? Right, come here. Yep. Literally just inside the there, it will come away. That looks really satisfying actually. And then you can kind of in between the lats and just pop them off. You make it look easy, Ian. It is easy. Okay, hang on. Well, for once I'm wearing very sensible shoes because I was out in the garden. No, oh, that was easy. Oh. Too late to worry about doing any damage, just go for it. The more damage, the better, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my goodness, that's harder than yeah, I was expecting. I'll tell you what, what I'm going to tell you is turn that round the other way. Yeah. Pull it. Pull it up. Oh, right, I'm okay. I, I'm off for lunch. I'll come over and leave you in an hour. Huh, you're just going to be having fun with the magic lights. Whoa, this is amazing. You've got a really big bit. I'll get a big bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There we go. Okay, that is a satisfying big bit. Did you, you pull that piece out? Oh, sorry. That's okay. Who knew that all oh, this was so much fun? This is how you spend your time, Ian. It is. Well, good for getting rid of any stress. <laughs> Very stress relieving. Very stress relieving. So I imagine that it gets old quite quickly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does get mundane after a while, is it? Leave it out. That was a satisfying bit too. Yeah, you probably need gloves on for some of it as well. Nails and that in there. But, uh, Fantastic. Oh well, out. maybe I'll leave it to the experts. Yeah. The team are all right. Yes, we'll leave coffee in hand. <laughs> 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 coffee in hand. <laughs> Let's see how things have progressed. I've had a lot of banging from my room. Oh. Wow. This is quite a difference. Amazing! Whoa! Hey, did you not bring me the present at all? I didn't bring you a present! Is it a traffic <laughs> phone Well, we basically need to get the other Ian, because this is from Beryl. She sent this in Cadet oh. the Chateau for the human Ians to share. Oh, but nice. I suspect she won't mind oh, you yeah. being involved in this <laughs> as well. <laughs> so let's put it over there and then when you use it here, you can open it. Like the, the space opening up and the lights. Okay, I'm going to go find the other ears and I'll tell them there's a gift here if you want to open. I think he's near the um, power stuff there. <laughs> How big it's going to be. <laughs> Excited. Just the man I'm looking for. There is a gift for all the human Ians upstairs. All the human Ians? Yeah. Do you don't know where um, final human Ian is, do you? Um, no. Okay, you'll have to keep a bit of the gift for him. Okay. What have we got here? <laughs> We've got a new toolkit, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Thank you, Beryl. Thank you very much. <laughs> yep. No so, last. Yeah. Who's yeah. having which one? Well, well, the hammer. You're having the hammer. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the hammer. Yeah. Use a hammer to bring it, the bits into even pieces, and then they'll go during coffee break. <laughs> <laughs> Look how far the men have got. And now I'm really getting a sense of how the room will feel. 
I cannot wait for the whole wall to be down, but let's stand on this side, see how it feels. Oh, it's much better. Oh, it's a wonderful room. I'm standing by the little door from my bedroom. There's two doors leading to my bedroom, one tiny one next to my bed, which is the one I usually use because then I cut straight across to the dressing room area, which is behind that door. And look, I'll be able to see the window straight away. And what I hadn't realized, so stupid of me, because I just thought about the window itself, not the view, is actually, as I walk into the room from my bedroom, I'll be seeing the old part of the chateau through the window. It's actually quite magical. It is an exciting evening because we are celebrating the 200th vlog. Hello, everyone. Hello. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Happy birthday, Chateau Diaries. Happy you look beautiful, you. Jenny. Well, I know <laughs> well, you yeah, did. Oh, we were dressing up a little bit. This is me dressed up. Oh, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's, Marie, it's I literally just looked down. Yeah. I, I was looking at Jenny's dress. Aww. Marie! Do you like it? I don't just I like, like it. it. This is stunning. It's superb, isn't it? Oh, mm. what a joyful night. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. So we got some cheese over here. Lovely. Um, we got some vegetarian sausage rolls. Yes. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I made some normal sausage oh, rolls. You angel. And then a little quiche. And there is some bruschetta with tomato mm. salsa. Some sausage roll for Philip. And salad. Oh, and then we got a semi-dessert. It's a semi-dessert. Oh. Pepe Kaki. Oh, wow. Whoa. With brown cheese from Norway. Oh. Actually, wow. it's a brown, cream, brown cheese cream. Wow. Delicious. With nuts. nuts. So, yay. Not for, not for Philip. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that looks great. Yeah. Enjoy it. Thank I you. Starts and, and yeah. Yes, let's warm. dig in. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my birthday card from Jenny. Bon 200th anniversaire. And look, it is also from Ian, Lillian and Vivian, your peacocks. They miss you. <laughs> we miss them, but we know they're happy. Mm, I think so. I'm very happy. Okay, I'm going to try this, Maggie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very excited. <laughs> As we got into our party we were going to carry on because someone has made a video for me for the 200th vlog i haven't seen it yet so i'm very very excited to watch that and we were all going to go to the winter salon and watch it there but i really wasn't feeling well by that point and later that night philip once again the hero of Lalande, covered himself in glory racing me to hospital and uh, luckily i was taken in and i'm absolutely fine now and on the mend please please don't worry maybe at some point in the future i will talk about what happened but for now i'm just going to focus on on getting better and uh, i hope you're all really really well look forward to meeting you in the live chat on sunday's video which is going to be an amazing tour of the most beautiful mystery chateau that's never before been seen by the public See you there. A huge thank you to all of our patrons at Lalande who are making this vlog possible, especially our Dauphin and Dauphine of Lalande, Yeland, Ether, Dan Bander, Brian Barnard, Lauren Barnes, Brandon and John Michael, Cecilia Begum, Denise Behrens, Jill Bidwell, Candice Blackburn, Candice Ned Borkowski, Clara Butcher, Paulina Calabro, Chloe Chalacani, Stephen, Sarah Cole, Zoe Dork, Sakura Dennis, Zane Dixon, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Caroline First, Abigail Grant, Fifi Greenberg, Crystal Hardy, Brenda Harris, Delaine Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson, Jacqueline Holmes, Priscilla 
Hubler, Jimmy Kemp, Nadia Kennedy, Lisa LaForge, Dave and Summer Lalande, Morgan Lawley, Victoria Lapine, Janet Hoff Lombard, Marina, Frank Martin, Meredith, Robert Miller, Kathy Nori, JC Award, Maureen Palmer, Teresa Sloan, Frank Poposki and James Snow, Tamara Price, Armin Rahman, Tonya Renee, RJ B, Bettina Rojek, Hanny Ross, Mary Ryan, Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, and the Leaf House, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Renee Valelli, Victoria, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, Lucas Wallen, James Whalen, Cheryl Whitaker, Christine Wilson, Winnie de la Cocapoo, Greg with David Young, and Ludovico Zordonazzo. And thank you to all of you.